Girl. Girl. Hey. You excited for my new project? Are you? Guess not. I've had this old metal snap-on case sitting around for quite a while. I think I want to try to clean it up and powder coat it. I've never powder coated anything before, so let's get to work and see how this goes. I should have cleaned the glass on the blast cabinet. I could see what I was doing, but the camera didn't pick that up very well. Got the majority of that red paint off. Looking pretty good. I did notice that there is a model number on the back. It's hard to see. KRA223A. Snap-on Tools Corp, Kenosha, Wisconsin, USA 67. So I'm thinking this was made in 1967. Probably lose that with the powder coating. I'm still not certain what this box was for. I'll have to do a little bit more research. So far looking good. So we do have a small little dent here. It's not bad at all, but I think I'm going to try to pound that out before powder coating. We've got everything wire wheeled and cleaned up and I've got that little bit of a dent out. Everything looks pretty good. So now I can wipe it down with mineral spirits and get ready for powder coating. So I'm using this Eastwood Hot Coat, and the color is Signal Red. I do have a primer powder coat that I could use, but I'm not going to bother with that for this one just because it's such a small part, and I think the red will adhere just fine. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm ready to powder coat, and now this is by no means a how-to video. This is just through my own research and reading the instructions. Because like I said, I've literally never done this before. So this is my very first time doing this. But what I have is a stainless steel wire. And I have that wrapped around a stainless steel bolt. And then the green ground is connected to that stainless steel bolt, which connects to the powder coater. And then that stainless steel wire continues down and then I have the box hung on that. So we're gonna give this a shot. I don't expect perfect results. In fact, I expect this to not work that great because like I said, I've never done this before, but uh, let's get to powder coating and see what happens. So I've got this out of the oven and everything's cooled off and some of it turned out all right and some of it did not. So back here, I completely missed this and this was open like this and for whatever reason, the powder did not adhere there. And then the other really bad spot is right here. And I wish I'd have caught this on camera 
But after I had everything disconnected, I noticed up here that some of the powder was a little light as it is down here. And I tried touching that up and I had a good ground and I think I experienced what's called back ionization. And I think I had the gun too close to the part. So instead of the powder being attracted to the part, it actually had the opposite effect and wanted to go away from it. So the more powder I tried to put on here, the existing powder just kept falling off and falling off until I had this patch. So if you have any powder coating experience, please leave me a comment and let me know what I did wrong because I definitely want to keep on doing this and learn from my mistakes. Now, this is not a critical part. I do have some matching spray paint, so I'll probably just touch it up with that. And all this case is for is to hold loose hardware like this for a future project that I'm working on.